we have. Um, we'll start with our feet all the way together. So big, big toes, heels, um, all the way together. Take a little rock back on the heels and just open those feet. Yeah. And then we're going to rock forward onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels and line them up behind those toes. So ideally we want to have the toes pointing straight ahead. If the hips are quite turned out, which is what mine do, um, the toes can be slightly turned out a little bit, not like all the way into first position. Okay. We'll take another little rock forwards and backwards, or if we prefer side to side or around in a circle, whatever we feel like we want to do today. And we'll make sure that that weight has settled sort of big toe, little toe and heel equally into the mat. So that we're kind of lifting the arches and not letting those knees roll in. Speaking of those knees, they should be pointing straight ahead in line with that second toe. And while we're thinking about those knees, we're going to give them a little bit of a wiggle, make sure they're nice and relaxed, they're not locked out. Um, just let those knees sort of settle. And as we breathe in, we are going to draw up through those legs. So we want the legs nice and long, like we're drawing up the front of the legs, but we don't want to lock out the knees. So that's taking the weight into the heels and making those knees really, really straight. We want to keep that nice relaxed bend in the knee. From there, we're going to do the same with our tailbone. So we want the tailbone to be pointing kind of straight down to the mat. A lot of times it likes to point towards the back of the room. Now that's quite an exaggeration, but if it does point to the back of the room, we're going to draw it forward so it points down. If it tilts forward, which is really hard, there we go. If it tilts forward, we're going to draw it back. So we'll feel that it's in the right place when the lower back is nice and long and the abdominals are pulling in slightly. Okay? And speaking of those abdominals, let's go ahead and switch those on as well. So we're going to imagine our line from one hip bone to the other. Okay? There's a point right below the belly button where that line meets. So the next time we breathe out, we're going to draw in those muscles between the hip bones. Once we have those muscles pulled in, we have to change the breathing slightly because we don't want to breathe into these muscles. We want to keep these muscles switched on. All right. So instead, we're going to let the lungs of the ribs expand outwards, expand outwards as we breathe in and come back together as we breathe out. And if we're not used to breathing like this, it can take a little bit of getting used to. What we will do is use that in breath and sort of lift the ribs away from the hips. Try not to let them flare out, but just to stand a little bit taller. Okay, so if I was standing naturally, I'd be a little bit here. If I lengthen, I'm a little bit taller. Okay, and just move those shoulders. So up and down, forward and back, around in a circle, whatever feels good. My cats are looking at each other like they're going to fight. Um, I have a mother and a daughter who don't get along, so if there's any any cat fighting noises in the background, I apologize ahead of time. So with our next breath in, we are going to roll the shoulders up to the ears and roll them back. So we feel the chest open here. As we relax the shoulders down, we're going to let the arms relax and maybe turn the elbows to the back of the room. Okay. So from there, just be really careful we haven't let those hips go. We're going to bring the chin parallel, so we're looking straight ahead. And then we're going to just start to move the body, get the joints, the muscles nice and warm. So we're going to start with a little balance today. So if we do want to step over to the wall or off of our mat, if we've got a thick mat or we're on carpet, we can take a second to do so. We're going to breathe in. We're going to lift just one heel. So just try one heel and then try the other. If that feels okay, try both. Breathe in to lift. And as we lift, if we're doing both, try not to let the, the weight roll out or in. So keep the ankles nice and square towards those toes. This time we're going to lift and try to turn the head to one side. And as we come back down with the heels, the head comes to the center. So we're going to try to look to the side as we lift the heels. And back down. Good. So we're going to lift and look. We need to use the abdominals. We also need to squeeze the glutes a little bit to help 
with that balance. Good. We'll make the next one the last one, but make sure that we have looked the same direction an equal number of times. Coming back to the center. And we're just gonna take our arms out in line with the shoulders, okay? Maybe a little bit lower, but not higher. So, one arm, don't mind which one, we're gonna draw little circles. The other arm's gonna stay nice and still, not gonna do anything yet. So draw little circles in one direction. Then we're gonna draw little circles in the other direction. We're gonna keep going in this direction, but we're gonna go medium-sized circles, so a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna reverse, medium-sized in the other direction. Good, now just let that arm be still. Other arm, little circles one way. Now keep the shoulders away from the ears, make sure they're not slowly creeping up. Those arms and shoulders should be getting nice and warm. Other direction, small little circles, kind of like uh, baseball, softball size. Then we're gonna go to basketball size circles. And then in the other direction. And then, without hitting the wall, we're gonna backstroke. So take one arm back, let the other one release, and then the other, okay? Now we can allow this rib cage to rotate, but not the hips. We don't want the hips going. The rib cage can go from side to side, but those hip bones stay pointing forward. Be careful of walls. We're gonna now take it to a front stroke, okay? And stroke. Again, the ribs can join in, but make sure that the hip bones, those flashlights, are pointing straight ahead. Now take it all the way up and over. Careful of walls. Get one more thing for the arms. Take them back out, just circle the elbows for me. We're gonna do a little bit on hands and knees today, so just make sure those elbows are nice and warm. Same thing with the wrist, just circle those wrists. And the other direction. Good. And shake it out, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, from here, we are going to bend our knees and we're gonna roll it down. Okay, so for this, we're gonna take a tuck with the tailbone. So instead of pointing down to the floor, we're gonna actually tuck and we want it to point forward towards the toes. Chin drops to the chest. We use those abdominals to support that lower back. And we just roll it down. If we want a little bit of support, just take the hands to the thighs. Keep that chin tucked, keep breathing. And once we get down as low as we can, we can release the head if we want. Release the arms. Maybe shake the head yes and no. From there, really keeping the knees bent, we're gonna tuck the tailbone, bring the chin back to the chest, and we're gonna roll it up. Oh, a little bit of a shake. Reset, that's fine. And we're gonna do a little bit of warming up for the lower body. So, we're gonna do some squats. So if we would rather have our feet a little bit wider than the hips, we're gonna do that. This is a little bit of a balance. So if we want to, again, step off the mat, we can. Let's just go through the squat first. So we're gonna sit back into the heels, hands can be wherever we want, it doesn't matter, and then we're just gonna lift up, okay? So as we sit back, our weight is in the heels, so our knees are not going forward. It's like we're sitting back in a chair, and then squeeze the booty to come up. Keep the chest lifted, and no untucking that tailbone. So make sure that tailbone's pointing down. Once we got the hang of our little squat, and it doesn't have to be big, we're gonna come up and lift the knee. So place the foot back down where it came from, lift. So if we want the arms in front, we can. So we're warming up through the hips, the knee and the ankles here with our squats. Make sure that when we place the foot down, the toes go back to pointing forward. They don't start to turn out. Da, 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 da. And the weight is in the middle. Let's do one more each leg. I was gonna do class outside today, but it's quite windy, so I thought maybe next week. And we're gonna come up, give everything a shake. And we're gonna to come to the end of our mat to roll down again. So, just like the first one, knees bend, tailbone tucks, we engage between the hips, chin to the chest. Let's take a little bit more time though this time to roll it down. 
to make this one last even longer so that we really feel that stretch through the spine in the vertebra in the muscles in the back and then we're going to walk it forward we're going to come out to hands and knees and we're going to do our spinal rotation in our hands and knees today so knees under hips hands under shoulders now press into those hands so that we're lifting up and not letting our chest sink down engage between the hips get that lower back as straight and long as we can and we're going to do a little bit of our thread the needle so we're going to lift one arm open to that side but keep the shoulders relaxed we're going to dive that hand through make sure the hand comes all the way down to the mat so back of the head on the mat we're going to bend the elbow and if we want we can turn the fingers slightly in and we're going to slide that arm through as far as we can as we come up, we're going to breathe in again, open all the way back, looking to the side, and place that hand down. Okay? Now try to keep those feet in line with the knees. So mine like to try to come in during that rotation. So just try to keep the feet hip distance apart. So I'll show you from this side. So going to the next side, we're going to breathe in and open. Breathe out, and I like to turn my fingers in. It just makes it slightly more comfortable for my wrist. I'm going to look towards those fingertips on the floor. I'm going to breathe in, press through that arm, open back for the twist and down. Now, we might have noticed there's a little bit of a, a little one arm push up. Shh, don't tell anyone. So a little bit of work for the arms as well. Get open and down. Breathe in, open. Now keep both hip bones pointing down to the floor at all times. So we don't want to take the rotation into the lower part of the spine. We want to think about moving from the ribs. Once we've done one on each side, keeping those shoulders relaxed, we'll sit it back. And we'll have a little bit of a stretch. So just sit back. Toes can come together now, knees wide. Have a little rest. Have a little drink of water if we need it. My cats are all asleep in on the sunshine. Hi, Robert. So we'll have a little bit of rest. I'll see if I can. Uh, so, oh, don't know if you can see him or not. There's one. I'm not sure if you can see him or not, but <laughs> I think you can just about. There's one. And then there's one over there. They are actually mother and daughter, so you'd think they would get along. No. The baby's always chasing the mom. All right, so we're going to come back up to hands and knees when we're ready. If the wrists are a little bit tired from the first exercise, come on to the elbows instead. All right? So engaging those abdominals, relaxing the shoulders. We're going to send one leg behind us, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to lift it. We want to try and lift it without this happening, so keep engaging the abdominals. And again, the toe is pointing to the sign to remind us to donate if we can. Once we're there, we're going to extend the opposite arm. Head looks to the end of the mat and our thumb is up. All we're going to do here is take the fingers and the toes out to the corner back in line with the shoulder and the hip. Out to the corner and back in line. If that's a bit much, put the toes down and we can just slide the toes on the floor instead of having the leg lifted. All right, now keep pushing into that hand so we're not sinking all of our weight into that one side. We're gonna do one more. Now we're gonna hold in the center. We're gonna take the weight forward and back. Well, I'm going to do five and four. Keep engaging those abdominals between the hips. Three. Only go as far as the wrist allows. Last one. And just sit it back for a second. Shake off that wrist. Give it a little circle if it needs it. All right. To the other side. So from here, I'm just going to move up slightly so I don't kick the side. Take the hands back under the shoulders or the elbows, knees under hips. 
We're going to lift, we're going to press into the hands. We're going to lift the opposite leg first, so just find the balance. Direct that gaze to the end of the mat. Like we're going to shake hands, arm comes forward. We're going to take it to the corner without hitting our couch, and then back into the center. So out to the corner, and back in. There's a couch in my way. Good. So exhale to go out, and inhale to come back in. Dropping the toes if we need to, but to keep the shoulders and the hips nice and still. So it's the arm and the leg moving, not the torso. We're going to hold the next one to the center. We're going to come forward and back. It doesn't need to be a big movement, but we will feel that here. So three, and two, last one, and sit it back. Shake out that wrist if it needs it. Good. Have a drink if you need it. It's quite warm where I'm at today because it's in a sunny, it's quite sunny room. So get some water. We're going to come around and have a seat next. So you will need a little bit of room behind you. We aren't going to go all the way down to our back, but we will be rolling back. So our feet are going to come hip distance apart. We're going to sit nice and tall, okay? So make sure that we're not rounding or leaning back. If you do need to put something underneath the tailbone, again, grab a pillow, towel, blanket. All right, arms are going to come forward. We're going to roll down. So we're going to tuck the chin, we're going to tuck the tailbone. So just look towards the belly button. And then we're going to roll up. Make sure that the feet stay on the floor, okay? The amount that we bend the knees is kind of personal preference. So we can have the feet a little bit further away or a little bit closer if we prefer. We're going to change our feet in a moment anyway. So it won't really matter. So we're going to exhale to come back. Feel those muscles engaging. Now, as we're looking towards the belly button, we can make sure that those muscles are engaging as we go back. Now, if that feels okay, we're going to change our feet. So take the soles of the feet together, and we're going to go back. Same thing we just did, we've just changed the legs. Now, be careful when we go back, we don't want the knees to come up. Keep pressing them down to the floor. Arms forward, shoulders down. Tuck the tailbone. Roll back, keep the feet on the floor and the knees pressing down, come up. Now if our knees or hips do not like this position, let's go back to where we were, all right? And lift. Just going to do a few more. We're going to feel those abdominals engaging. My feet are trying to start lifting. We're going to hold the next one back. I know, I know. So hold it back. Little pulses back. Let's go. Back. And breathe. Don't hold the breath. It just makes it harder. Relax the shoulders. Good. We've got eight. Seven. Don't let those knees come up. Four. Three. Two. One. And up. And just relax it over. All right, let's take it on to our side. Don't mind which side, because we're gonna do both right away. So, <coughs> excuse me, my allergies have been really bad lately. Oh, and we are going to come onto our side. The bottom arm is gonna point towards number 12 on our clock. If that is not possible with our shoulder mobility, take the arm straight ahead and put a block or a pillow or something under the head, all right? Once we're there, just quick check to make sure that the hips and the shoulders are the same distance from the front of our mat. We're gonna stretch our legs out. Let me just scooch up so I can see my feet. All right, I'm just gonna have to bend my bottom arm, but if you have room, keep it straight, all right? We're gonna flex the feet, stack the top hip on the bottom, so just make sure it's not rolling forwards or backwards and engage between the hips. What we're going to do is turn our top foot up. All right? Okay. Again, that doesn't mean that we roll the hip back. It just means that we open the hip a little bit. We're going to lift up and down. 
Now usually I tell my students not to let the foot do this, but for today, we're gonna let it turn up, okay? Just to work some of those muscles slightly closer to the bigger glute muscles. We are gonna use the top hand if we feel a little bit unbalanced, but make sure it's just fingertips. And that we're looking straight ahead. It's really easy to kind of drop the chin and look towards the feet. We wanna keep that head in line with the spine though. Keep that neck happy. Good, let's do four more. And three. And two. And one. All right, have a little rest. So shake that leg out. Okay. We're going to flex the feet again. So not just the top foot, but the bottom foot. We're going to lift. This time we want the toes to point down to the floor. So they're pointing the opposite direction of what they were. That big toe is going to come and touch the floor just in front of the bottom leg. Don't try to go way out here. Just take it just a little bit in front. And we're going to lift it up. Touch it down, breathe out and lift. Breathe into the lower. Good, keep the heel higher than the toes. Okay, that's our goal. We'll put it in slightly different muscles. This one makes me wanna cry. Oh, good. We've got four more, four and three. And two, and one. Oh, all right, a little bit of a rest. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those two exercises together, okay? So we're gonna work on strengthening as well as hip mobility. All right, let's just do the thighs well, let's get it done. All right, so feet flexed, even that bottom leg, we want the foot flexed, make sure it's nice and strong. So. Have a, have a watch if you want to. So what we're gonna do first of all, is we're gonna lift, bring the heels together, lift, bring the toes down. Lift, heels together, lift, toes down. All right, join in when you're ready. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, okay? So toes down, toes up. Try not to let the hips rock, okay? Maybe take the hand to that top hip. Make sure that hip bone is not rocking forwards and backwards. Yes, I know. It makes you want to cry. <laughs> We've got three more. And down. And two. Down. Last one. And down. Oh, I don't know who plans this stuff. I really don't. But give it a little rub, a little pat. When you're ready, let's just sit up quickly. Cross that bottom foot over. You can keep um, the top leg, I should say, not the bottom. The bottom leg can be straight or bent. And I just want you to hug that knee in. That was the top leg. Give that glute and that hip a little stretch. Good, take both legs out, give them a little bit of a shake. Grab some water so that we can put it off a little bit longer. <sighs> All right. Okie dokie. Let's do it. So swing those legs around, or if you want to face away, just roll to your other side. As long as the other leg is on top, I do not mind which way everyone faces. All right, arm either pointing to 12 or three or nine. Our ankles, knees, hips, shoulders all stacked. And we have a nice long spine, hips in line with shoulders. Take that little tuck with the tailbone if we need to, to make sure that we're engaging between the hips. Let the feet flex and the toes point up. Breathe out, breathe in. Don't worry if the toes are pointing more sort of forward. We just want our toes to be a little bit wider than our um, uh, what's it called? A heel, you know? So that the toes are pointing upwards, the heel is pointing down. Okay? Don't expect anyone's toes to be pointing straight up at 180 degrees unless you've got really, really open hips. Let's do two more. And then we'll hold 
This side's not so bad for me. This one, this side doesn't make me want to cry. It's just my side where my, my muscles are tighter that makes me want to cry. All right, so flex. This time, toes down, heel up. So opposite of what we just did. We're going to let the big toe touch down and lift straight back up. So our heel on this one is always higher than our toes. But that hip is still stacked. So we don't want to go way out here with the leg. Just a little bit in front of that bottom leg. Okay. If we're using the top hand, make sure the shoulder stays relaxed. Just use the fingertips. You don't need the whole hand. And just breathe. We've got a few more and then we're going to put them together. So two more. One more. Have a quick little rest, little shake. Uh. All right, flexing those feet. Turn the toes up to start with. So we're going to lift up and down. Lift up, toes point down, touch front. Lift up, toes up, heel down. So again, if you want to watch and then just join in when you feel like you've got the hang of it, do so. Use those muscles between the hip bones to try and take away as much movement in the hip as possible. And down. So we're rotating the bone in the hip joint slightly by letting the toes come in and then out. So we're working on strengthening those small glute muscles on the outsides of the hips as well as that hip mobility. Good. Oh. Let's go. Three. And a two. And a one. Finish with the toes pointing down, and oh, ow, give it a little rub. Up we sit, extend the bottom leg if it's more comfortable, and pull. All right, we're going to finish up on our back. So for the first exercise, for the first couple, uh, feel free to have something behind the head. We're going to do some bridges, but we're going to do those um, in a little bit, so don't worry about having the block um, away yet. Alright, so we're going to come on to our back. Alright, quick check to make sure we're engaging between the hip bones. That lower back is pressing down towards the mat. We're going to take one leg in the air, okay? Don't mind which. We're going to draw the letter J. Okay, it might be forwards, it might be backwards, depending on which leg we have. Um, if we've got right leg, it'll be a forwards J. If we have left leg, it'll be backwards. So we're going to take the leg down, a little swerve for the J, and come back up. Now, when we did that, the hip should not have rocked, and that, that the, the hip of the bottom leg should not lift. I can't talk. So we're going to draw our J, and back up. Draw our J. We should feel this in the abdominals. Make sure they're switched on. Relax the head and shoulders, and we'll do one more. Switch those feet. Other leg up. I might need to scooch a little bit away from the wall. Relax, just scooch, scooch, scooch. All right, here we go. Make sure there's no movement in that lower back as we're drawing our letter J. The only thing that's moving is that leg. Everything else is nice and still. And we're just breathing. Breathe out to go down and out. Breathe in to come in and up. So basically, breathe out when the leg comes down and around. Breathe in as the leg comes back in line with the hip and up. If we do find we're breathing the opposite way, it's fine as long as we're breathing. Make this the last one and release. Right, so option one, do the, exactly the same thing, eight on each leg. Option two, both legs in the air. Yay! Right, so if we've got both legs in the air, we're going to alternate. Make sure those legs are not too close. They're just over the hips. Let's do it. If you want to make it extra hard, take the legs out to 45. It's Monday, so I'm just going to stick with around 90. So one leg goes out and back up. Other leg, out and back up. Good. Find the breath and only take the leg as low and out as far as we can. 
not allowing the lower back to move. Okay, it's very important. The lower back is not lifting to get the leg lower. We will still feel it, I promise. Even if the leg's not going very low, we're halfway, we've got eight more. So if we're doing one leg, make sure to go ahead and switch. All right, four more to go, let's do it. Four, and three, and a two, last one. Now hug those knees. Oh, take a little rock from side to side. We're almost there. We're gonna do a little work for our obliques, and then we're gonna finish up with the bridge, and then it'll be stretch time and we're done. Yay! Right, so for our obliques, what we are going to do is take our arms out in line with our shoulders, but we are going to lift our forearms so that our elbows are on the mat, okay? So if we were sitting or standing up, we would look like this, okay? We're gonna reach one hand, again, don't mind which. We're gonna press into the elbow. We're gonna reach across just above the opposite knee and then come back down. So pressing into the elbow allows us to lift a little bit higher. And we're gonna kinda look towards those fingertips as we reach across. So that the head's not here, but we're not looking all the way up. If it is a bit much, then we can put that bottom hand behind the head as we lift and reach, okay? So we're just lifting and reaching. Exhale to lift and reach. Inhale to bring the elbow back down. Good, so that's it. So nothing too hard or ridiculous today. I do like this one because I can use that bottom elbow to get a little bit higher and I can feel it a little bit more on those obliques. We've got eight more. Eight. Keep that chin slightly tucked. And six. Four more. Last two. Last one. And down we go. Good. If we really felt that in the neck, just take a moment and just turn the head from side to side a few times. Just release through that neck. While we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and take our block away if we have one or our pillow so that the head is flat on the mat for our bridges. All right, so feet hip distance apart. Walk them as close as we can comfortably get them for the knees, okay? Hands, palms up, shoulders relaxed, squeeze that booty, all right? Squeeze the booty, lift the tailbone. Make sure the abdominals are engaged, lift the back of the waist. Now those knees, not opening, not closing. And we're just gonna lift and see where the bridge is today. See how it feels. And then we're gonna roll back down. So roll down the shoulders, the ribs, the back of the waist, keep the tailbone lifted. We're gonna feel the abdominal squeeze when we put the back of the waist down. And then the tailbone is the last thing to come down. Good. So feel those abdominals squeezing as the tailbone lifts. Feel the glutes squeezing as we roll up the spine. This is a nice slow movement. It's a bridge, not a hip lift. Good. And we come down just as slowly and mindfully. Making sure that we're breathing. Good. Let's do one more. And then we are going to move into hip lifts, which are a little bit faster. And more about strength and less about mobility. Okay. So, for our hip lifts, we can either keep the feet where they are, or walk the feet together, open the knees and bring the soles of the feet together, like we did when we were sitting, all right? Same rules, as we lift the hips, the knees are not allowed to lift. We want to press them down towards the floor. At least keep them where they are, all right? Don't have the feet too close, just take them a comfortable distance away. Press the feet together, really squeeze that booty. Let's lift, up and down. So, a little bit different, because we're not quite rolling 
coming up as much. We're thinking more about squeezing the glutes and lifting the hips. But we still want to think about engaging between the hip bones. Still think about tucking that tailbone to lift. Squeeze and lift. Release. This one should feel great. Good. And lift. And release. Don't let those knees start to lift. Keep them where they start. My cats are thoroughly unimpressed with my um, technique or form. I'm not sure, but I'm getting very judgy looks from one of my cats. We're going to hold the next one up. Little tiny lifts at the top of your range of motion. So lift the hips. Lift. 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 Let's go. Eight and seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. You don't get to come down. Hold. Now, keep the hips where they are. Press the knees to the floor. Press. Don't let those hips drop. Keep those hips up. Keep them up. Keep squeezing. It should be burning. Eight, ten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and everything down. Oh, goodness. Stretch the legs out. Arms overhead. Be mindful of signs and such. Good. Knees in the chest. Just relax that back. All right. Let's stretch it out. So when we are ready, we're going to come up and have a seat for our stretches today. So I do hope we enjoyed that. Remember, if you are able to donate, please donate. Um, last check, we have raised over three thousand pounds for the NHS and um, healthcare workers. So if, if you are able to, please do so. If not, that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, we just want to say thank you for joining us, and um, we hope that you enjoy um, us helping you try to stay fit and get active as much as possible. Um, I know some days it feels really hard to get motivated. So, we are going to take um, one leg, don't mind which one, flex that foot, cross it above the knee, try not to have the ankle bone quite on the legs, try to have it a little bit across if I just show standing up. So instead of having the ankle bone on the thigh, because it'll be really, really dig down, take it a little bit further across. So, so the part of the leg on the thigh, just a little bit higher, okay? Keep both feet flexed, and what we are going to do, and actually, I'm gonna show it this way, is we're just going to slide the hands forward like we would normally do in our forward fold, okay? But then, if we can, we're gonna take our forearm on that knee and gently press it down so that we get a hamstring stretch on the bottom leg and a glute stretch on that top leg. So two for one deal. Of course, if this doesn't work for you, just come out of it. Just stretch out the hamstrings and the glutes however you want to today. Good, and we will switch. So again, try to take it a little bit above the ankle bone so it's not digging into the thigh so much. Sit nice and tall and relax over the legs. So find the hamstring stretch and then add that glute stretch and then relax and breathe. Take some nice deep breaths. Good, and bring it up. Give it a little bit of a shake. Um, so because we did a lot of inner thigh work, I've got a visitor in my garden. I have a little, I have a black cat who's not mine, but comes to visit to get treats. Um, so she's just looking in the window at me. So we're going to stretch the inner thighs. So we're going to open one leg to the corner, fold the other leg in. Doesn't matter how far out this leg goes. All right. From here, hands in front. Let the tailbone sort of lift and tilt as, um, um, so if I show from the side. So basically we want it to do what we don't want it to do usually. We want it to lift and tilt back but roll that knee back and we're gonna just walk the hands forward. So we get a little bit of a stretch in the inner thigh, okay? So with this one, the tailbone is pointing towards the back of the room. We're gonna press the hip down and turn the knee back. Toes can be pointed, flexed, relaxed, as long as we can feel that stretch. 
that inner thigh. Good, up we come, other leg. Okay, so knee up, take that tailbone, let it draw back. So we're basically aiming our stomach for the floor. We'll walk it forwards. We're not aiming to get super duper low. As long as we feel the stretch in the inner thigh, that's what we're aiming for. And we want to breathe. That's very important. Good. Up we come. Take those legs out in front. Give them a nice little shake. And then very slowly, we are going to come back to standing. So we can come up however we wish, as long as it's nice and slow. Um, so we don't want to get dizzy or lightheaded. So if we do have low blood pressure, then maybe not put the head down, maybe just step up. If the blood pressure is okay today, we can roll up or whatever. Oh, I seem to have lost my head. Well, oh, that's not a good thing to have happen on a Monday. There we go. So from here, we're just going to bring those feet back underneath our hips. We're going to take a nice big breath in. We're going to find one wrist, doesn't matter which. We're going to relax the shoulders and take a nice big stretch. So we look like a banana. If we can, we're going to look up. Now, if we feel this in the lower back, just tuck that tailbone a little bit. Come back to the center, release the arms. Big breath in again. Find the other wrist. First, relax the shoulders, bend the knees, and then we'll take it over, looking up towards that top arm, if we can. Up we come, big breath in. This time we're gonna come to the middle, one hand behind the other. Now reach and touch the sky. Release, shake out those arms. Give everything a little shake. Thank you for joining me live. Also thank you for tuning in later if you weren't able to make it live. 